Hey, David with the Wholesalers Toolbox. I want to talk to you about why you haven't been able to get into wholesaling or why you haven't successfully wholesaled a deal. And I called a uh, uh, somebody that had emailed me yesterday and talked to him for a while about you know him getting started in the business. And he said he'd, he'd hired a, um, a coach and paid him money. And uh, he'd been, you know, studying for a year and, and hadn't done a deal yet, but he thought he was getting close. And, and it inspired me to make this video. Um, I hear the same story over and over again in this business. And, and there, I think there's like three key reasons why people can't get it done why why you're stuck why you're you know you 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 know the title of the video i'm going to make it you know why why people suck at wholesaling um so let's talk about it let's talk about the three reasons and let's talk about the same things i suggested to this guy about how you can get over that okay the first reason people suck at wholesaling real estate is they get stuck in uh, a lot of people heard the term uh, analysis paralysis all right you hear about wholesaling and you, you want to learn it and you get into this learning mode where, you know, you've got your reading books, you're reading blogs, you're listening to podcasts, you're watching YouTube and all that. And you just get stuck in this, this never ending learning mode. Okay. And, and you don't know when the stop date is. You're, it's not like you're taking college courses and you get out and you go, okay, that's it. Now I'm, now I'm qualified to do this. So you just keep, you know, I'm missing something. I'm going to keep learning and keep learning. And it's, it's never ending. So at a certain point, you, you just have to try it and you have to get out there and you have to get outside your comfort zone. So I'm going to throw some sayings that I use at you to try to get the point across. Okay. And one of my favorite sayings is, if you want something you never had, you've got to do something you've never done. Okay. And that's so true. If you want to wholesale real estate, you're not going to do it sit in front of your computer screen. You've got to get out and do it. So I'm going to get into how you can start doing it. Okay. So that's the first thing, you know, and, and another quick, quick saying for you, if you wait for all the lights to turn green before you head for town, you'll never get out of your driveway. All right. Again, you got to get going. You, you've got, to, something's going to go wrong. It, it does for everybody, but you got to start heading that away. You just got to get out and start doing it. Okay. So that's the first thing is, is get over the analysis paralysis. You know enough to get started. Probably if you've been at it a year, you know enough get out there and, and, and get your feet wet and give it a try. Reason number two, lack of skills. Okay. Not skills. You know, like I said, you've been reading, if you've been studying, see, so you know that, but the actual skills part, you, you, you don't know how to talk to people. You don't know how to make phone calls. You're, it's scary to you. You don't know what to, you know, say to somebody when you go look at their house. You don't know how to estimate rehab, you know, numbers or negotiate a price or all those things. You can read about that stuff all you want, but until you get out and you do it, you, you're never going to learn it. You know, it's, uh, you know, learn it and on, on, on the laptop and, you know, sitting at your desk is one thing, but when you have to go out and like look at a house and, and, and think about the numbers and all that, everybody gets, you know, you get that knot in your stomach or you get, you get scared and you freeze up. You don't want to, you don't want to put yourself into that. You know, I don't want to put myself into that situation. So, I'll just study some more, you know, I'll just, you know, I'll buy another course or I'll, you know, read another blog and, you know, like all of a sudden the light's going to go on and it's not. So that's the second thing you, you've got knowledge in your head because you've been studying, but you need to hone the skills. You got to get out and you got to do it. Okay. And the third reason why people suck at wholesaling is, is it comes down to, I believe, um, a monetary reason, you know, uh, a lot of people that want to get into this business, they want to get into the business to make their life better. And they're, you know, they've got a, you know, they've got a crappy job or they're, you know, they're tired of always being broke or, you know, they, you know, tired of driving around a, you know, a car that, you know, only runs half the time or whatever. So you've got like a why, you know, you've got that, you know, uh, drive to do it but you lack the funds, right? You, you know, you scrape together for a course, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're trying to figure out how to, you know, generate some leads and you just don't have, 
You don't have the money for it. I mean, like, you can't compete with guys in your market or, or ladies in your market that have, you know, that are spending $30,000 a month in, uh, in uh, mail, you know, and, and, you know, all these systems and, you know, campaigns and, you know, paying for, you know, ads on the Internet or clicks on the Internet or all that. So if you're lacking funds and, and you know, it's a struggle, you know, you're sending out, you know, you know, 10 letters a week and, you know, that'll, that'll get you a deal eventually, but you know, you want more than a deal. I mean, you want the secret of this business is, you know, is it's a numbers game. You know, you've got to, you've got to have a lot of leads coming in because not every lead that comes in is going to be a deal. I mean, you might get, you might get 20 leads and only one of them is going to be a good wholesale deal. So you need that. Okay. So that's why, all right. So that's why people suck at wholesaling. So you've got the, the you know analysis paralysis you lack skills not knowledge but but the actual skills and you lack money all right so let's talk about how you overcome these things all right and this is the advice i gave to the guy that i was talking to on the uh, on the phone call yesterday so you know how do you get over that how do you move past it and get it you know so let me ask you a question how many jobs have you had where you started the job and you knew it all before you started, right? You know, if, if you worked at McDonald's as a kid or you're working at McDonald's now or you, you know, you were, uh, you know, whatever the job is, you know, you filled, uh, you know, worked on a road crew and you filled potholes or wh whatever the job was, you didn't know it before you started. And, you know, if I took any of those jobs, say, you know, I, I'm going to give you a job at McDonald's but know everything before you start the first day. You wouldn't even know what to learn, right? It's like, you know, where do I even start to learn that stuff? So so how do you get over the analysis paralysis and get out there? You've, you've just got to make the jump, all right? So you need to do something that you've never done so you can have something you've never had. So get out and go to a real estate investor meeting, okay? Go, go meet people in the business, all right? Find somebody that's a wholesaler that's doing deals in your area and say, you know what, let me buy you lunch. Let's go have something to eat. Let me buy you a beer. Let me buy you coffee. And just talk to them and say, hey, you know what, next time you're going to the house, let me go with you and, and, and get some practical experience. Because until you get out there and actually go through the motions, it's all going to feel too awkward and you're not going to want to do it by yourself. So you've got to find somebody to team up with to get out there and do it. All right. And, and it's, you know, they're going to be a mentor. You don't have to call them that because it might scare them, but you need to find people that are in this business that you can work with. Okay. All right. So what's another problem? All right. Making phone calls. All right. Making phone calls to sellers and, and I don't know what to ask them and it's scary for me and all that stuff. So I want you to get on Craigslist and go in the, you know, the house section and put in the search bar by owner. All right. And I want you to find listings by owner. All right. And I want you to call them. All right. And ask them about the house, not because you're trying to get a deal. I and mean, if you're on across one, that's great. But this is just an exercise to get comfortable on the phone. I want you to call two dozen listings. It doesn't even have to be in your own city. It can be in, you know, you know, Dallas or, or Chicago or St. Louis or wherever. Just call some listings and say, Hey, you know what? You know, sorry about the out of town number. I used to live, you know, wherever, you know, but, but I'm looking for some, uh, rental houses and yours kind of, you know, see, you know, sprung out at me and I thought it might be something I'd be interested in. So tell me about the house and just get comfortable talking to people. Okay. And do that, you know, uh, uh, several dozen times. All right. As, as many times as it takes to where you go, you know, I'm kind of tired of doing this, but I get the point, you know, it's now I can talk to people. All right. Second exercise. I want you to do the same thing in your own market. Get on Craigslist, find for sale by owners. And I want you to go look at them. All right. Not because you're trying to buy them, Again, if you find one to buy, that's great. But I want you to go just to get comfortable doing it, all right? Act like you're buying the house for you. Go out and look at it and ask them, you know, say, tell me about the house. Why are you selling it? Did you have a, you know, a renter here? What's the deal? Um, 
you know, just go, you know, how many bedrooms when you get the roof? Has there, you know, any problems with the house? You know, when did you install the furnace? Just get used to asking people about the house. More impor importantly, ask them why they're selling because in wholesaling, that's important because if they just say, oh, you know, market's good right now. I, you know, I thought it'd be a good time to sell because I could get a lot of money for the house. That's not a wholesale deal. But if they say, you know what, I had a bad tenant here, I'm tired of renting, um, I inherited the house from my dad, uh, you know, I, I don't want another house, we don't need another house, I'm just trying to get rid of it, whatever. You're looking for, you know, people that are motivated to sell because, you know, they've got to get rid of it. Not because they kind of want to, but because they have to get rid of it, all right? So that's your second exercise. So one, start making some phone calls. Two, start going and looking at some houses. Again, this isn't to try to find a house. If you stumble across one, that's great. But the exercise is to get you comfortable with it, all right? So that's your three, three homework assignments or tasks that you need to accomplish. Go to some real estate investor meetings. Get on meetup.com, you know, get on the internet and say uh, real estate investor meetings are RIAs, R-E-I-A, uh, and then put your city in there and find some meetings to go to. Most of them are free to, to, you know, to go hang out with. They'll have a little thing where people will get up and you know, say, hey, I've got a house for sale or whatever. I encourage you to get up and say, hey, I'm a new wholesaler. This is my first meeting. You know, if any of you else you know, here is wholesaling, I would love to talk to you. I'm sitting at the table over there, come talk to me, all right? Get to talking to people, all right? Get, get immersed in this business, all right? So go to a REA meeting, all right? Call some Craigslist ads and go see some houses. That's how you're going to get into this business. That's how it's gonna get you comfortable. All right, so let's talk about the last thing real quick. Lack of money, lack of money to get into this, all right? It's a big problem, you know? I, I talk about like driving for dollars and, and uh, you know, some different ways you can, you know, get into this and, and get some leads going without using marketing money. But you still run into the problem of, you know, negotiating, not knowing what to offer and, you know, and all those other problems. So I'm going to propose something to you. There's, I, I, for years, I actually bought it myself, but you know, it's been on my website for years. I've got a, a program, it's called the 10 hour wholesaler and it's Justin Wilmont. He shows you how to, it's, it's virtual wholesaling essentially, but he shows you how to connect with other wholesalers and connect with cash buyers, use their inventory, use the other wholesalers inventory to offer to your cash buyers, how to, you know, how to, how to do all this without spending any money on marketing and how to learn the business and, and, you know, get the knowledge, get the connections, get some deals going without having any marketing money and, and how to do that. So for a new wholesaler, the 10 hour, the 10 hour wholesaler program is awesome because you know if you don't have any money to send out letters you know this is the way to do it use somebody else's inventory and and make some deals happen start making some money and then you can you know then you can do your own thing then you can you know you can start uh you know sending out your own direct mail campaign or or running ads for your website or whatever you want to do so you know but that gets you over the hump gets a deal under your belt you're working with another wholesaler that's experienced and you can see how the process works all right so that's my my suggestion my solution if you've been trying to do this for a long time and you're just stuck you can't get over it do you know use those tips and and do something different do do something different so you can have something different okay i'm going to put some links down at the bottom the 10 hour wholesaler program i'm going to put down there so you can uh, check that out but uh do this if if you're stuck you've been doing the same thing you're done reading you're done reading on the computer you're done you're done learning now it's time to put everything you've read to practical use and get out there and 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 actually put it into action okay that's it for today thanks for watching this ran a long time i think like 15, say 15 minutes 16 minutes but um get at it and uh please subscribe to this channel if you uh, just ran across this give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it hopefully you did like it hit the little bell the little uh notification button so when i post something you'll get the no notification but uh thanks for watching uh visit the wholesalerstoolbox.com thanks